Welcome to the Professional Permaculture Designer. I am Pete Wyden, your host, and today I will be getting more into this age-old fear of getting stuck doing the same thing in your permaculture or ecological design business. Uh, if you're interested in finding out more about developing your permaculture business skills, making more sales, honing in on who you're really wanting to work with, and how to make that the every day in your business, and also to remove the sense of overwhelm that can come from taking on too much work, not having the right offer in place, um, certain tweaks that can be made to your business to make it actually fit your lifestyle and your income goals, your personal uh, family values, and, and the goals around your um, balance between personal and professional, I'd be happy to talk with you about the mentorship training that I offer uh, via a personal message or comment below if you're interested in that. Um, today, you know, I'll be getting into pretty much um, just diving a little bit deeper into this getting stuck mentality that I went over in the last video toward the end. Um, man, so many people deal with this and I don't want to make it out to be too much of an elaborate thing because really what I feel like it comes down to is feeling like we somehow innately are unable to make changes in our life in terms of the everyday life that we experience um, and how our own actions, how our own thoughts play a role in creating that. Um, you know, the idea that you're going to get stuck doing something for your whole life, you know, why would that be? Is it, is it because that's what God, the universe, whoever has decided is your destiny? Or is it perhaps because you've made a choice to stay doing that one thing? And there could be some very real reasons that you'd have for the fact that you're stuck, such as I need a, I need a reliable income, um, I have people relying on me at my place of work or what I'm doing right now, I have too many clients who are expecting things of me. Um, you know, it often comes down to the money issue, of course, which is very real. Um, and also th what the expectations of others are and what our family what our friends like would think if we decide to pivot and go an entirely new direction or to do a very wise thing which would be to pivot slightly and have your foot you know on on two stones versus just one um, and putting all of your eggs into one basket for me my own journey into my full-time ecological design business now um, took quite a while honestly mostly it was me being in that mentality of I'm stuck and I can't do anything about it um, but I did take a gradual approach to it where I made sure I was making some sales uh, and I knew why I was making those sales. Go back and look at the uh, previous day's video on um, mindset around success and, and keeping your success momentum going on a monthly and annual basis. Um, it's important to know why you've made sales, why you're in the situation you are, why things are working or why they're not so that you can reverse engineer and understand um, how to pivot away from that or into a new thing and uh, also really taking to heart that you do have the power to make the changes you wish to see in your life uh, you know for example a lot of people might not even know what permaculture is does that mean that you can't be a permaculture designer no uh, it might mean that you market permaculture differently than just telling people you do permaculture design. Um, so it's about changing your perspective and looking for opportunities rather than for reasons why you can't is, is incredibly important. So, you know, if things are already working in your business, there's no reason to try and, you know, scramble your way out into a new service or a new way of life or even a new job um, just because there's there's some sense of restlessness or something you'd rather be doing it doesn't mean you it, there, there's no black and white ideally in business um, it's all kind of a gray area of what's kind of working how can we um, just kind of massage this in a certain way where we're able to work in more of the type of things we want to be doing um, and and make work fun so you don't feel stuck I feel like part of the issue of being stuck is this idea that you don't enjoy what you're doing right so what are some things you can bring in in terms of the way that you deliver your service um, to do kind of like unique 
and exciting things with your clients, like go to a garden center and look at plants rather than just sending them emails back and forth all day. Use what works for you and your personality, but is also gonna be exciting and interesting for your clients. Um, and if things are really working well in your business in terms of income, but you're not happy, um, take a look at what the types of activities are that are making you unhappy, whether those are truly necessary, if they're necessary to be doing every day, or if you could just lump into them, them into one time, if you could hire somebody for 20 bucks an hour to take care of it for a few hours a week or a month. Um, you know, some of these solutions could be pretty simple. Feel free to uh, send a comment below or reach out with a, with a PM to me. Uh, if there's something in your business you're not really sure how to work around it, but it's creating issues in terms of your ability to enjoy working every day, which of course can be a huge impediment to lasting success, repeated success in your business. If it's not enjoyable for you, then you know other people are going to pick up on that, and it's nothing personal in terms of the, how they view you. It's just the energy behind how you show up, which is so important. So if you got some bread and butter work, that's you know working really well for you. You know maybe you've got a certain type of clientele that's just really great, um, but there are certain aspects of that type of work that you're not so into. Uh, how can you start to address that? How can you start to bring in little changes that are are even enhancing the uh, delivery of the service you're providing, but that can make it more enjoyable for you? Um, and you know. You wanna get really, really good at selling and delivering one thing. So I use rain gardens all the time as an, as an example. We can choose something else. Let's just say we're permaculture here, so a food forest. You're designing a you know, semi-complex plant community in someone's back or front yard to produce food, pollinator forage, whatever. Um, you know, get really, really good at not only selling that, bringing the money in, but delivering that service so that you're just the expert, you're really well known in your area for that service. And of course, I, I would doubt that anyone would be unhappy in general doing food forest design, but there could be reasons why you're unhappy doing that. If you don't feel like you're being paid enough for your service, if you don't feel like you can find clients, if people um, are buying and then they back out last minute, these are not issues that, you know, this isn't some a situation where you should be blaming other people. It's something where you can accept that this is happening, like I mentioned the other week, taking responsibility for what's showing up in our business and knowing that by the way we approach it, by the way we start to change how we show up and how we're talking with people about our service, the types of people we're approaching, the way we're pricing it, it can completely change our experience of being a business owner um, and, and really have it be an enjoyable thing to have a bread and butter service that we offer that's really easy to do because we've done it so much. We know exactly what goes into it. We know how to price it, stuff like that. So, you know, if you're feeling stuck, the first thing to do definitely isn't, how can I do something different in terms of, I'm feeling stuck doing forest gardens. How can I like start doing large scale farms right away? Um, you know, it's, it's a gradual shifting. So, you know, looking for opportunities where someone has a larger property where they want an initial food forest by the house, but they might want to expand into some crop, perennial crops down the, down the line, something like that. Making too great a departure from what you're already doing, it can be unnecessarily risky, especially if it's early on in your business or if your business does rely on that entire, you know, that one service for its bulk of revenue, say like 80% or more of your revenue. And also depending on the types of operating expenses you have that you need staple income to keep going. You know, it doesn't have to be all or nothing in terms of doing what you want to do in your business. There are aspects of business that, you know, we're not going to enjoy working on certain parts of the business, but there are ways to make that enjoyable, such as, you know, today we've got to go through taxes or accounting stuff um, so we're going to make a delicious dinner in the slow cooker and we'll just let that sit and we're going to have a few people over um, at 6 p.m. But we're going to work all afternoon on this and then we have a reward at the end, right? It's like creating a reward, going swimming after I get this done and, um, you know, having your favorite drink and favorite music around when you're writing to get you in the zone. It's stuff like that, making things more enjoyable for yourself that are very easy to do that, you know, none of those things I mentioned cost any money really. 
um, to, to make happen and to really enhance your experience of being a business owner and working on your business. So I think ultimately today what I want you to take away from this among anything else that you, um, you thought was particularly good, which I would love if you let me know via comments or send me a message, um, is the idea of getting stuck. I invite you to just do away with that notion if you haven't started your business yet. And even if you're selling something that doesn't seem to be working, send me a message. Let's talk about it. Let's figure out what's really going on. Because the last thing I want is for somebody to feel like you're, it's not working. It's too frustrating. It's too hard. It's not, it's not fun to get out and talk with people about what you're doing. There are reasons beyond just that you're not meant to have this business or that it's not working. This is accepting responsibility for the fact that it's not working and looking at our own power to change that, to make different decisions, approach things in a different way. So if you are interested in, um, talking more about mentorship for your business, uh, simplifying your business, making sales, having a repeatable system for building relationships and doing what you love to do, reach out via PM or comment below. Also, let me know if there's something in particular that you got out of this, or if you had a question, definitely leave a comment so we can get into that and everybody can get some more value out of it that way. Hope you guys have an awesome day today. I will talk to you later. Bye.